This figure translates into an average of 2,619 cases on a monthly basis during this period. Sympathizers, including top government officials, religious leaders and learners, took part in a march against the brutal killing of nine-year-old Cheryl Uyaha. The march started in Clemens Kapoor Street in central Katutura to the Stanford's location behind the single quarters filling station where the mutilated body of the late Uyaha was found. A social work student at the University of Namibia, Uda Gavahap, had the following demands in a petition addressed to Kukwangelo Madila. We want Bibles back in our schools, not only in the hands of inmates. Religion and moral education needs to be reintroduced into our schools. We want an amendment to the procedures and requirements in place for reporting a missing person, specifically a reduction in 48 hours waiting period. This is an excruciatingly long period, especially when a helpless minor or anyone for that matter could be in the hands of a perpetrator. We want strict sentences for perpetrators of crimes such as rape and murder. In an emotional speech, the Prime Minister says despite strong mechanisms in rooting out such evils, violence against the vulnerable children continues unabated in Namibia. As a nation, we are in mourning. We are grieved by the gruesome incidents of violence that are happening in our country. These incidents of violence which target mainly children and women are a major national concern. Such violence ranges from baby dumping, child neglect, physical and sexual abuse of children, abductions and killings. One of the latest cases of such violence is the gruesome killing of late Cheryl, whom we will lay to rest tomorrow. She urged victims to assist the police and perpetrators in putting perpetrators behind bars. I also want to encourage victims of violence to discard the worrisome practice of withdrawing cases after filing them with the authorities or refusing to give evidence in court. This allows perpetrators of these serious crimes to roam the streets and continue committing these same crimes. Late we are will be late to rest tomorrow at the Pioneer Park Cemetery. Kaipa Herwekanji, NBC News, Venduk.